Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Joe Morales. Uh, I work on the Heroku Customer Solutions Architects team. We work with enterprise customers to make sure that they're successful on Heroku platform. And today I'm giving an introduction to Heroku Connect. So thank you very much for attending. Quick forward-looking statement. Um, if you're considering use of Heroku Connect, make sure that your purchase decisions are based at, on the feature set at the time of purchase. So while everything I'll talk about today is current, uh, it's definitely subject to change as we continue to innovate on the platform. And the agenda. So I'm going to do an overview of Heroku Connect. Um, we're going to talk about the common usage scenarios. There are many. Um, and what are the capabilities and benefits of Heroku Connect? And then we'll do a light demo. And after the demo, if you have any follow-up questions, um, I would just guide you over to the Heroku booth, which is over uh, on your back left-hand side. Uh, I'll be over there as well. So. so what is Heroku Connect? Um, we get a show of hands of, uh, have you seen it before, used it before? What's a show of hands of the people that know what it is? People that are looking at it for the first time. OK, good. So Heroku Connect is, is data integration as a service. It provides replication or virtualization across Salesforce and the Heroku Postgres database. So uh, you may be uh, running, your, uh, running your, your business on Salesforce. Your sales teams are using it for sales automation. Your uh, support teams are also using it. But you're also running your, your front end web product, the product that your customers use. And customer experience is all about leveraging the information that helps you connect your customers with the information they want, with the products and services they want. And leveraging those insights from your Salesforce data directly within your consumer-facing your consumer applications is exactly what Heroku Connect can help you do. And it does so through advanced Salesforce API integration and Heroku Postgres databases. So what are the use cases? Um, there are many of them. Here are some of the key ones that we see. We've just touched on mobile web applications, consumer facing or not consumer facing applications, any web application. Um, there is also CRM, multi-org consolidation. So if you think about the different ways your business can grow over time, you can have many different business units that may be kind of growing and evolving in their own silos for a while. And as the business grows together, they begin to cross pollinate more. You may have merged with another company. You may have acquired a company. And all of these type of business interactions are reasons that your business may be running multiple orgs of Salesforce. Um, we actually have a customer that runs 50 Salesforce orgs. So while it may not always be feasible to have all of your users using a single Salesforce org, um, providing a unified view of what's happening across them can be really beneficial to your business. And Heroku Connect can help you do just that. Uh, by providing a variety of ways to move data in and out of your Salesforce orgs. Uh, Salesforce archiving. Uh, if you've been using Salesforce maybe 10 years and you're starting to think about an archiving solution for it, uh, Heroku Connect has a great way to archive your Salesforce data in a way that still maintains, uh, maintains it in a way that's accessible still within Salesforce. So you've archived it, but you can still see it in Salesforce. Um, very powerful. It can be a, a big efficiency and cost saver for you. Uh, and business intelligence. So you have all of this customer information in Salesforce, but you're interested in harnessing it and, and integrating it to external data warehouse or analytic systems that you may be managing. Heroku Connect is a great tool for this as well. So why would you use Connect versus just arming up and writing into the Salesforce API or um, writing an ETL process. The main reason is why rebuild it if you can just use it. Um, Heroku Connect is pre-built with an optimal use of the Salesforce API. It knows when it should be using the SOAP API or the bulk API or the streaming API. And it also understands the complex relationships between your Salesforce objects so that it can manage them in the most efficient way. Um, the other huge benefit is that all of the APIs calls that are, that are handled for you by Heroku Connect, they don't count towards your org limit for API calls. So it can be a big cost saver as well. Um, and when you couple this product with enterprise level developer support, it is a huge productivity booster for integrations of your applications. 
So we touched very briefly on two modes of operation for Heroku Connect. The first one is called Heroku Connect Sync. And this is data replication between Salesforce and Postgres. So we're talking here about two separate stores of data. One of them is in your Salesforce org, and the other one is in a Postgres uh, SQL database. And Heroku Connect replicates information back and forth between these two. Um, so it's bi-directional. So if you picture that you have internal employees using Salesforce, if they update something in the Salesforce application, that data can replicate to Postgres, which can serve as the back end for your consumer facing web apps. It means that your reps can be doing things that your customers are seeing through their interfaces. And vice versa, a customer might place an order through your web application and your reps can have an immediate view of that order and what the customer has been doing. Um, it's very scalable. Heroku Connect can handle hundreds of millions of records being synced between Salesforce and the Postgres database. It's really easy to set up. There's no coding required to get it up and running. It's point and clip mapping creation from a UI, which we'll review in a little bit. Um, and it's really powerful. As soon as you've set this up, you can immediately be running SQL queries uh, directly against your Salesforce database. The second mode of operation, we just touched on synchronizing data between a database and Salesforce. The second mode has only one data store, and this is called external objects for Heroku Connect. Um, in this case, you actually don't host the data in Salesforce at all. It solely resides in your Postgres database, but it can still be uh, rendered and interacted with from your Salesforce application as if it were actually in Salesforce. Um, this is also bi-directional. There's only a single source of data. So again, your customers are seeing what your internal business users are seeing. Um, it's also very efficient uh, and powerful. So uh, comparing the two modes of operation, uh, the sync process is about replicating data back and forth between Postgres and Salesforce versus data virtualization, a single source that's used by both. Um, because the sync process has two data stores, there is an eventual consistency model where changes made by your customers may not instantly be available to your, user, to your business users, but shortly thereafter it would be there. Whereas with the external objects, you get an online, uh, basically a real time because there is no synchronization. So we're talking async versus synchronous. And both of these modes have the ability to use in a unidirectional, only Salesforce to Postgres, or a bidirectional, two-way uh, communication of information between customers and business users. How would you choose between these two techniques? Um, there's, this can be an architectural consideration, but generally, you would use Heroku Connect Sync if the object in question was really important from a CRM standpoint. So if you had a, an object that needed to have really tight relationships with other Salesforce objects, and a lot of Salesforce logic was going to be built on top of this, it's a great use case for Heroku Connect Sync. Um, but if, if your object is really more of a consumer facing concept, you want your business users to have access to it, but maybe it's not fundamental to what they do, but maybe it's really important that it performs in a very fast way for your consumer user experience and their web applications, this would be a good use case for um, using external objects. Both of these are completely available. It ends up just being an architectural decision on how you want to optimize the use of your data. So we'll do a light demo. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a fictitious e-commerce site called Fix. And here is the architecture for Fix. On the right hand side, you have Salesforce. And it is integrated to a Postgres database via Heroku Connect. And this database serves as the back-end data store for an e-commerce server that serves the Fix e-commerce website. So what we're going to show here is how information can be relayed back and forth between the e-commerce website and Salesforce. And here is that application now. So when you think of e-commerce, you know, what are some of the common types of information that would be in an e-commerce application? You, know, you think you're obviously having your customers, you're having orders, you're having products and pricing. Um, so you have all of these objects, but you want Salesforce as a central data source of truth that your business runs on. 
So we use Heroku Connect to synchronize these orders, the customers and the pricing between Salesforce and this fixed application. Let's go ahead and purchase something so we can see, I'm gonna show you how an order gets translated from this e-commerce site to Salesforce. And now hopefully, I don't think so from looking at you, but hopefully I haven't put you to sleep yet. But just in case, we'll go ahead and get a coffee maker going here. Um, this Chemex, $39.99. I'm gonna purchase one. All of my payment and address, delivery information. Save and continue. Okay, so I've got my order confirmation screen. I've just purchased a coffee maker. And my order number here is R314 and a bunch of other numbers. <clears throat> so we're gonna jump over to Salesforce now and I'm gonna show you how this, how this order has already synced over to your Salesforce organization. I view all orders, and up at the top is the R31 order that was just placed from the FIX application. Now a Salesforce rep is automatically seeing this information. You can see that this order is correlated to my contact information, which means that you're keeping a history of all of the things that, that I've interacted with and purchased on the site. Clicking into the order, you can see more details, like the price it was purchased at, uh, the date it was purchased, and the fact that I actually bought a coffee maker. So it provides that business visibility to what your consumers are doing. So what we've just seen here is a consumer order placed, replicated to Salesforce, and a rep is able to, to interact with it. But it works just as easily the other way. So let's say that I'm a rep in Salesforce and I've decided for whatever reason that this customer deserves a discount. I can quickly change the product price here from $47.99 and let's just say we're going to give it to him for 15 bucks and we can go ahead and save that order right here from Salesforce. So what does the consumer see now? If we come back to the fixed web application where the consumer had previously paid $47.99 doing a refresh here shows them that they're now getting charged 15 bucks. So you have that bi-directional replication of information. Your consumers and your business are seeing the same things and they're seeing it very quickly. So this is how it works. Now let's, let's look at what it takes to set this up. I'm gonna show you. This here is the Heroku Connect dashboard. This is where you configure all of the integration mappings between your applications and between Salesforce. At the bottom here, you can see a list of all of the Salesforce objects that have been configured that the web application has access to. Now I've already set these up, but I'm gonna just show you really quickly what it would take if you were to do it from scratch. Um, the customer, my customer contact information is based on the Salesforce contact object. So clicking on this, and clicking edit. This shows me all of the fields that exist in Salesforce for this object that I'm able to map over so that my application has access to them. We're in Salesforce, these are objects with fields. They're mapped over to your Postgres SQL database as SQL tables with columns. And there's a one-to-one -one correlation that's kept between them. So you don't have to worry about creation of schemas and management of database changes. Um, Heroku Connect does that for you, no development required, right here from the web-based interface. Cancel out of here, come back. It's also an operational utility. So from here I can see a history in this histogram of all of the changes that have been synced from the database to Salesforce and vice versa. I can see a count of records that have been syncing over. I can see the ones that are in error versus the ones that have worked successfully. And I can look at each object and I can compare how many rows are in Salesforce versus my database to make sure that they're synchronizing correctly. If, for example, we put custom business logic in Salesforce and maybe the data stops synchronizing correctly, I need to troubleshoot. Um, you can easily see through the logs 
a history of all of the Salesforce API interactions so that you can troubleshoot and make sure that your mappings are working correctly. So what we've taken here is a very complex development task of integrating two applications with an API, and we've basically turned it into something that you can do in this interface within 10 minutes. So we've just shown you a customer create an order, it syncs to Salesforce, a rep in Salesforce changes the order, the customer gets visibility back. We've shown you how to take a point and click interface and build this integration, and we've done this all in less than six minutes. Um, so you know, I hope this provides you a great insight into how Heroku Connect can be used to ignite your velocity in building apps and integrating information. And I hope that it's been a useful introduction for you. So again, if you have any questions, um, we'll be over here at the Heroku booth. I'll be over there shortly and look forward to speaking with you. Thank you.